Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful bracelet only out of seed beads and 6mm pearls. It's really easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this video you're gonna be able to make it by yourself. If you want to support me and see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, a link to my store and a link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so for this video what I'm using are 6mm pearls. Here I use 10 pieces, but if you want a longer bracelet, you could use more of these and make more elements, okay? Here I use a magnetic clasp, but you could use regular clasp if you want. And here I use 8 o beads and 11 o seed beads in one and the same color. And here is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. You could use fire line or, to, or whatever you like. And here I use size 10 beading needle, scissors. You could use pliers to go through the difficult beads. Okay, and now I'm going to put two feet of thread on my needle, which is 60 centimeters, and I'm going to start. Okay, guys, and now I'm going to start by taking four of these beautiful 8 o beads. Okay, I have my four here. I'm going to slide them down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here I'm going to make a knot. And I'm making my knot by making a loop and going once and second time through the loop I've made and I'm pulling. And then I'm going to make one more knot. And now I have this. Now what I do in my next step is that I go one more time around those beads. Like that. Okay, I'm going through here just reinforcing my work. Okay, then I will go here only through this one, passing through it, and I will take one ato, just one this time, and I will go in this direction. Okay, so here it is, you see how I added this? Here it is. Then I'm going to take two more beads. And this stitch is called herringbone. But I'm making an additional step to this herringbone by adding one more bead. Okay, this is herringbone. And now my thread is going in front of this bead that's sticking out. Then it's going through these two beads in this direction. Then instead of making one more row of herringbone, I'm going back in this side and making the additional step of adding one more bead, one more ato. And I'm going in this direction. Okay, I'm pulling. And uh, this is what I have. And pay attention, your thread shouldn't go... Um, through this bead but only around this one okay now I'm taking two beads and continuing with my herringbone going like this then pay attention your thread should go in front of this bead and not behind it okay then go here through these two beads you see this loop should be in front of here like this 
then I'm going one bit in this direction, one bit back. Taking one HO like this and going here through this one. And you could put your nail like this if you don't want this uh, thread loop to go behind this one. Okay. Then you see what I have. I will show you one more time. Two beads go here, pull, then do this, go through these two beads and you, your loop will go in the right direction. Then go through this one Again, keep this with your nail, take one and go here. Now you see what I have. I have four beads that are sticking out and I will continue this until I have nine beads that are sticking out and I'll be back. Okay guys, and when I continue this, this is what I have. I have nine beads that are sticking out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine beads. Okay? And now what I'm going to do is to make a circle and connect them. Okay? And how I'm doing this? Okay, I want to connect these two beads to these two beads. And in order to do this, first I will take my tail thread and remove it from here because I don't want it to be on my way while I'm doing this and later I'm going to just cut it, okay? Now I'm taking my needle and as I'm exiting here from this bead I'm going through this one from here to here if you don't see my thread, okay? So, you see, when I pull when I pull I have this, okay? Then my thread is going through here and I'm going through this one and through this one, you see? Okay, I'm pulling again. See how the whole thing looks from here? Then my thread is going here in front of this bead and going through these two again because I want to connect them. Then in front of this one again, like this. Okay. You see what I have here? And now as my thread is exiting out of this bead, I will take just one more bead, like this, and I will go in this direction. So, when I pull, I have a circle of beads like this. Then, in my next step, I will go here inside my circle, okay? I'm going here inside my circle and pulling, okay? Now, I will take one of my 6mm pearls like this and to go here through the other side somewhere here and then I will pull okay then in my next step I'm going around in circle through all of those beads I just want to make my beads stay nice and tight next to each other. Okay. You see what I have when I pull? My beads come together. Okay, like that. Then what I want to do is go to the back side of my work
let's say here and here I will make a knot I'm making a knot by making a loop going once and going second time through the loop I've made I will make sure that my thread is here between those two beads where I started my knot from and I'm going to pull and I could repeat this several more times and cut my thread like this okay and I will cut here my tail thread as well and here guys my first element is ready and I need 10 of those elements to make bra bracelet that's long enough to wrap it around my wrist but uh, uh, you might decide on putting more of those elements it's up to you okay I'll make them and I'll be back okay guys and I made more and more elements and now I'm going to assemble my bracelet and I'll show you how this is my magnetic clasp that I split in two okay and I will put it from each side and now I will put about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'm going to start assembling okay and first what I'm going to do is take one of my elements okay like this and I want to add this new thread to this element I want to attach it okay and in order to do this I'm going here through some bead I'm choosing somewhere a place to add the new thread okay and what I do is what I showed you before first here I'm making a loop and I'm going once and I'm going second time through the loop I've made you see what I have and then I pull and now my thread is attached to my work this is the first step that I want to do okay like this okay now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut this tail thread here okay now I have a long thread attached to my first element okay and after I have my thread attached here you see it's going out of here I will take three seed beads I will take my magnetic clasp you could use regular clasp it works the same way okay I will slide it down like this and then I will take three more seed beads okay three more I will slide all of those down and focus like this then as I'm exiting from here between those two beads I will go here in my next bit okay you see I'm skipping one bit and going through the following okay now I have my clasp attached and I will go here to reinforce my work okay I'm going through all of those bits in this direction in circle okay now I have my clasp attached and this is the front side of my work and this is the back side okay now I'm going to continue I will go here through some bits and I will exit here through this one then I will go through this hole here okay now I'm going to show you how to attach your next element I'm taking 
one of my next elements okay like this <clears throat> and I will turn my work in this direction where my back is taking one seed bead this time 10 or 11 or or you could use 10 o's it doesn't matter okay then I'm taking my next element and I'm going through its hole as well so I'm going out of this hole and going here through the next one through the one of my next element now you see what I have here and I will flip my work in this direction I will take one more seed bead like this and I will go in the same hole but in the other direction and I'm pulling now you see what I have I have this and after I have this I wanna reinforce it okay going through the seed bead through the eight o pulling then through the other seed bead and through the other eight o and pulling and you could do it one more time if you want I like how it moves it's cool okay then I will go here in this bead in the inner circle and my goal you see is to exit out of the next bead here the next hole okay like this then I'm taking one seed bead and I'm going in this hole okay then one more and going back in the same hole okay how could I show you this you see I'm connecting this one that's sticking out with this one that's sticking out with two beads you see so when I pull I have this in fact I did the same thing between those two like between those two and now I will go reinforcing it from this side as well okay now I have this I like the way it moves it's so cool like a real chain okay and now guys I'm going around here and I'm connecting the next element the same way I showed you repeat this one here if you forgot how I did it rewind this video I just repeat it with the next element and when I'm ready attaching my elements I'll be back to tell you how to finish your bracelet okay guys and when I continue beading this is what I have I connected all of my elements like this you see and now it's the tenth element and it's time to attach my, the other part of my clasp and because this is the front side you see this is the front side and this is the back side of my work I will attach it here at the back side okay now you see I'm going at the back side like this okay and as I'm here you see I'm taking three seed beads taking my clasp and then three more seed beads okay this is what I have and now I will skip one of my beads and go through the next one so my thread is exiting out of here I'm skipping this bit and I'm going through the next one and I'm pulling like this and then I'm going to make a full circle and reinforce it
Okay, now I have this and here I'm going to make a knot. And I'm making my knot my, by making a loop going once, going second time through the loop I've made and I'm pulling. Then I will go through the following bead here and here I'm going to cut my thread and my bracelet will be ready. Okay guys, and now my bracelet is ready. If you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free videos for fresh beading ideas. And if you make beautiful stuff following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below. I will be so happy to see your creations. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And I'll, I'll answer to all of your questions down there in the comments. And down there in description you will find a full list of materials, a link to my store and a link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.